Now, from the previous problem, we know that, oh, sorry. We know that uh, this helicopter was at some certain height. It was 100 meters. And it started flying all the way until it fell down into the raft in the lake. Okay, so we need to find first the time for the, that, it, uh, that it takes for the package to get into the in the maximum height okay so that time is gonna be here okay this time now how do we get that we can analyze it just in the y-axis why is that because we don't care about the x-axis for now okay we just want height that means y-axis okay so from there we can now we can use from this formula final velocity is equal to the initial velocity in y uh, minus the gravity the acceleration times time okay we know that at the highest point velocity is going to be zero don't forget that let me write it down here at the highest point Velocity equals zero. So there we go. Keep that into your heart too. Um, initial velocity is gonna be twenty-five point sine. Sorry, of thirty-six point nine uh, minus the gravity. That's nine point eighty-one. It goes down. That's why it's negative. Times t. These if I solve for t, I'm gonna get the time. It's 1.53 seconds. Okay, so this time it gets to the maximum point. And this is the answer to part A. Now, uh, we need to know the time it takes uh, for it to go from this point to here. We need to know that, and for that we can just settle this pretty much the same equation, but with different like settings. Okay, we know that using this nice formula once again that you, it should be already in your heart. It's like v zero in y times t minus a half of the gravity times squared. Okay, so from there we know that. Uh, when it falls into the ground, the position is going to be zero. Okay, the initial position is going to be a hundred meters. The initial velocity, as it as it was in the highest points, initial velocity is going to be zero. Okay, once again, it was in the highest point, so the velocity in y is zero. Okay, now minus a half of gravity times squared okay but we're missing something we're missing uh, the amount of height that it did at this point okay so we need to compute that first um, so I'm gonna do it here just let me change colors uh, what? green will be okay now, how do I do that? Well, it's easy. I'll just use that same formula that I used. GT squared, that's the same thing. We know we don't know the height, the final height, but we know that the initial one is 100. We know that the initial velocity was 25. Yep, 25. Sine of 39, 36.9 uh, minus a half of gt squared. There's a t over here too. And time we know that it's gonna be 1.53. So we just plug that, and that is gonna give us is gonna give us a result as a result 114 well 111. 
0.48 meters. Okay, so that's the maximum height. Okay, so this number should be plugged in here. So just let me erase that. Uh huh. Here, here. I'm just gonna, okay, uh, 111.48, okay, that makes sense. Now I solve for t, uh, this is not positive, this is negative, because it goes down. Uh, it's gonna be t equals 111.48 over a half of... 9.81 and the square root of all this stuff okay and that is going to be 4.76 seconds and this is actually um d d d d d uh the part b okay the answer for part b